just gonna get the hair out of the way so you can put the mic on. I think it's really important to make sure there's no crazy distractions, you know, on TV. You don't want to take away from from the story. There's this comfort also in there, you know, it's kind of like you know the person, you know what to expect. It's kind of like their family. You're on this like the same level, you know what you're gonna see. I enjoy that at least. I grew up in an environment where majority of my family did hair. My whole life is hair. It's nonstop. I'm Yanni Mitalinos. I'm a hairstylist at NBC. Today I'm gonna to teach you hairstyling tips for on-air talent. This is our model RXE. We're gonna be demonstrating how to do an updo. Her hair has been lived in a little bit, so I'm putting dry shampoo because it's a little greasy. So this is just gonna take the shine away. It's mostly the roots where the oil is. So I'm just trying to tackle that. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna actually take my flat iron and I'm going to take care of the frame of her face, enhance the curls to go away from the face. I'm trying to match her curl pattern into a tight, ringlet, pretty much just smoothing out everything at the same time. This shouldn't take more than 10 minutes to achieve. I like to curl the hair with the flat iron. It creates a more beachy look. I leave out the ends most of the time, and then I actually go over everything and flat iron it down just a very little bit, just so it's not too big curly. I think key is taking care of the frame, and everything else will work out. No one's gonna see the back. So a trick of mine is actually to braid the hair and then start pinning that braid up. So I took that braid and I pinned it around to create kind of like a flower look in the back. And I'm just pinning it to her head. And I'm gonna take a couple pieces just to create a little more drama. Once I'm happy with it, I'm gonna take my hairspray. I'll probably take a very strong hold hairspray and just spray it out of the face. So this is an updo that you can wear in an emergency situation, literally five minutes to do. We focused on cleaning up the hair in the face, making sure there's no frizz. And there we go. Five minutes up to. This is Carly. We're gonna show you how to go about styling naturally curly hair in an up to style. What I would start with is sectioning. I'm gonna use a, more of a boar's bristle comb. And I'm gonna section the front, trying to avoid making extra frizz. And then I will be taking up more pieces as we go. So I put a hair bungee in her hair. It makes it a little easier and, and helps eliminate frizzing the hair up while you're putting it in the ponytail. Hair bungee works best on curly hair because it avoids frizzing out everything. You can really just brush everything up and then just go around with the hair bungee in a lot cleaner way than you would with a regular hair tie. I'm gonna take a couple bobby pins and just personalize it. I like to blend the top with the bangs a little bit. I wanna clean up the sides a little bit, so I'm gonna go in and spray my brush with hairspray just smooth that out a little. Still leave some texture, not make it too flat. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of curl defining cream, massage it into your hands, and go in and twirl the hair. It's gonna eliminate uh, frizz. It doesn't have too much oil in it, so it's going to not make it so shiny. On TV, just shine, the shine is distracting. And so it's really humid here in DC. This style will help you get your hair off your neck, kind of frame your face, and just be ready for the cameras on the field or in the studios. This is Erin. She will be demonstrating how to do a sleek, straight style. Put a little bit of blowout cream in her hair. Erin's wearing extensions, so automatically I know I cannot yank on the hair or create too much tension. I'm going to go in with the blow dryer first. Once the hair is completely smoothed out, I'm gonna go over it with a flat iron and create a bend at the end. I'm gonna take it to a medium settings since she's wearing extensions as well. I don't want to fry it. You need to be a little more cautious with extensions. Not all extensions are 100% human. They mix in a little bit of synthetic. It's really hard to tell. So I would always recommend to put the heat on a lower setting. I've seen hair go from super healthy to fried over six months. And that is from constantly putting heat on it, getting new extensions every six months, let's say. So it's, it's kind of, it, it is protecting your actual hair. I actually like to take a full section like this go over, but I do not clamp it as hard as you would imagine. Continue doing that, and I go one section up like this, and I go over it again. And I'm gonna do that all the way going around. I'm using a, I think they're called carbon combs, so they don't melt with the flat iron. It's a lot hotter than it looks, the hair, so it makes sure it's not pure plastic. The comb will melt. 
Extensions are going to create more volume and more body and length. A little bit of fullness goes a long way. You can attach extensions like to updos. You can do the braids. There's different types of extensions. It all depends on what you can handle and how often you're going to be getting your hair taken care of. I know anchors, reporters, they, they have a really hard time trying to get to the salon. So I recommend clip-in extensions. They're easy go-to. You take them out at the end of the day. If you're putting clip-ins, I recommend to take them out at the end of the day. You do not want to go to sleep with them. They will rip out your hair. So if you can't take your extensions out at the end of the day, I do recommend you go to sleep with braids, big two braids on the sides. It's going to prevent the hair from matting up in your sleep. And it'll also give you a really nice wave in the morning when you wake up. I love, love, love wigs. I think people are so worried that you can tell that you're wearing a wig, but it's impossible most of the time. A lot of the people on TV are actually wearing wigs and no one has any idea. I'm just gonna make sure her edges are cleaned up. And I like to take a little brush and put super strong hairspray on it. Take a blow dryer. So there's another option that we can do. A lot of the anchors like to put their hair behind the ear or behind the shoulder on one side. It shows off the neck. I would focus on this side because she has more activity right here with the dress. I think extensions would be a really good option because some people just, you know, if you look over here and see that gap right there, that's one thing you do not want on TV. Extensions will completely fill that up, make the hair look longer also, and, and give it a little more shine. I, I highly recommend extensions if you're going to be on TV, not just for length, but for fullness. This is Spiro. He's our short hair model that we will be working with today. So Spiro's hair is freshly washed, which has created calyx right here in the front. So I'm going to actually wet it again, and we're going to blow dry it in the opposite direction. I like to put a little bit of lavender or tea tree inside my water. Once I've removed all those calyx from the front, I can start messing with the hair. I do notice that this hair is a little thinner in the temples right up here, so I'm gonna put a little bit of root powder to create a little more thickness. This is basically hair shadow, like eyeshadow. It's important to work on dry, clean hair. The shorter the hair, the greasier it's gonna look. Even though guys can also use dry shampoo, sometimes it creates too much texture in the hair. We're gonna probably use a matte clay kind of product. Uh, it's called Fiber. I like to take a little bit and massage it into my hands. So fiber is a lot like hair wax. There's pomade, which is gonna give a very shiny look. We don't really want that on TV. It's gonna create a distraction. It's gonna look greasy and dirty. I pretty much use a war waxy fiber look on everyone. I and mean, include, I put hairspray on top of it, so it's really not gonna go anywhere. I like to go everywhere with the product, really get it in there, and then we focus on the styling. With short hair, I like to just use my hands, not combs too many times. I'll go with the comb just to kind of detail it. Once I'm done with the product, I like to take a hairspray and just finish the hair off. I notice in the front that there's all these little flyaways that can't really get controlled with hairspray. I like to take a hair mascara, a gel actually, and go in there and just kind of focus on those little hairs. It's a little more polished. This is what I would do on a short hairstyle, especially with someone who has so many calyx. Just kind of work with them, mess with their hair, see what works best on them. Always in, you know, feel free to try something new, something that they've never tried out. This is Chrissy. We're going to be demonstrating a little more exaggerated look with curls and teasing. I'm going to start by smoothing out her hair with a brush, getting any knots out. So I'm first going to put a heat protectant in her hair. Since we're going to be putting so much heat, it's really important to protect the hair. I'm going to be applying Velcro rollers to achieve a more polished look. While I was blow drying, I was creating a lot of tension to really get those smooth roots. This is a Velcro roller. They also come in different shapes and sizes, metal or plastic. The metal is going to help keep the hair heated. Plastic is going to do just as well. While the hair is still hot, I go in immediately with the roller, bring it all the way to the end, and roll back. I like to use two pins. There's a different size clips for different situations. A pin clip would obviously help pin the hair down. You can use it in, in Velcro rollers and any type of roller. I also take a very light hairspray, and then I repeat on the other side. 
There's some days that we literally have five, 10 minutes to achieve a look. People forget that all that's gonna be on TV is the front of your face. So you just wanna worry about the frame of your face. You can do this look and just put a couple rollers in the front, forget about the back, set this for two, three minutes, and you'll have, an, have the look. Bring the hair forward like that. So I'm gonna start from the left side, and I'm gonna curl everything going away from the face. This is my go-to curling iron. Curling irons come in all different shapes and sizes. This is about an inch and a half, two inches. I like to put my hand to cover the ears and the skin. I'd rather my hand get burnt before the client's ear or scalp gets burnt. I also like to recommend do not brush the hair out until you're done with everything. Once you're about a quarter way done, I would recommend to take a little bit of hairspray, some light hold, and freeze it even more. Again, do not brush out till the end. Once I've reached the middle of the back of her head, I'm gonna focus on going on the opposite side the other way, coming back again. So we don't wanna go left, 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 because nothing will balance. So I'm starting again, just like we did on the left side. I think it's so important to communicate. We, we do not know how we're making them feel at the end of the day. I think it's so important to ask if, if you know, they could feel the heat, if the tension is too much, you know, some people are more tender-headed than others. So it's, it's important to work with the person. I know with Hallie what not to do. You know, I know not to pull and not to, not to move her around too much. Because also there's a makeup artist working at the same time. So while that person's trying to put eyeliner on, you need to know you cannot yank the head. The rollers are gonna create more of a polished look. They're gonna give more volume up at the roots. At the same time, prevent the hair from falling in the face where the makeup artist needs to work. So you see that body that created right there? I'm just gonna go over it and focus on the ends. I think it's really important to be patient. With the reporter, we also have to understand they're trying to get onto live TV and they have to be planning their show or talking to whoever it is. So a blow dryer running in the background isn't ideal for them. So being patient with them, understanding that you have to pause every couple minutes you know, is, is part of the game. Now we're done with the curls. I'm gonna start the teasing. I like to start from the bottom of the nape and work my way all the way up. It's gonna look a little messy for a couple minutes, but just trust the process. It, it gives that exaggerated look, fuller hair. Not everyone's into it, but it looks better on TV. Don't worry about over teasing. You can always brush it down. You just can't make it bigger at the end. I also like to use a comb to tease. A lot of people like to use teasing brushes. I think combs are a little more detailed. So even though someone like Christy, who doesn't need extensions for fullness, she can always benefit from the length. You will want to smooth everything out, but again, focusing on the frame is what's key. I'm using a very light hold hairspray again, but I do notice a little bit of flyaways. So my little trick is to take my curling iron on a low setting and go over the top very gently and smooth out those flyaways. Because that's the one thing you're gonna focus on when you're watching someone on TV is the little things like the flyaways. You can always spray your brush with some hairspray and go over the hair, and it's gonna get all those flyaways down. This is a more polished look. For more, visit NBCUacademy.com. Thank you for watching.